Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my King of Trios night one, two, and three review. First of all, I'll say King of Trios 2008. Well, as far as I know, and at least up until March 2nd, 2008, is the biggest t tournament ever held um, in terms of wrestlers competing. It had 84 wrestlers, 28 teams uh, from the United States, um, the independent scene uh, around the world, Canada, the UK, Japan, Mexico, uh, and I think, I, hopefully they just put in more teams, or m maybe get more variety in the future because uh, there are some promotions that come to mind which I think would fit in very well in, with the Chikara style and have some pretty good matches. Um, first of all, uh, and not first of all, second of all, I'll say that this had incredible production values for an independent promotion. Now, any event held in the New Alhambra Arena is has very good production values. It's just set up that way, so it's very easy. Um, and these were the best production values out of Chikara, and probably one of the best product, uh, best events production value-wise from any independent promotion in the U.S. Um, they obviously took pride in it, and, and it, it looked really good. And I think <coughs> it um, makes it more accessible to to um, casual fans. And Chikara is a very accessible uh, promotion, um, while it's family oriented um, kids can get into it because of the colourful characters um, but adults and smart fans can get into it because of the the, the solid wrestling that's always been done um, and if you're unfamiliar with Chikara uh, some people say that ROH is American Strong Style or American P Puro um, Chikara will prob probably be American Lucha <coughs> and but it doesn't restrict itself to just that, just as ROH it doesn't restrict itself just to the, simply the one style. And it's very good in that. Um, matches don't go too long, uh, and they're, they're usually very fun, very high paced, sometimes a bit spotty, but still very fun, and you always see good wrestling in it. Um, well, most of the time, anyway. I, 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 t to date, I haven't been disappointed with any Chikara event. Um, I'll go through the nights and talk about that. Oh, before that commentary. The commentary was also very good. Uh, we had Mike Quackenbush, uh, Dan Carrison, Eddie Kingston at one point, I believe, uh, Ultramantis Black, who's frequently on commentary, Larry Sweeney, and Bryce Remsberg. These six guys are very good on commentary. Um, I think any one of them could go on and be a commentator for, for, for the, the, the major promotions, they just, they're all so good, they're, they're knowledgeable, um, they know how to call a match, obviously, <laughs> I mean, it's not a hard thing to do, but some people struggle, I'm not naming names, but they all did such a good job in this, um, and they, and they didn't s just exclusively stay, I mean, they stayed in character enough that it was believable, but they also stayed unbiased to an extent that it didn't just hurt the match. Also, uh, one flaw I found with it, and, and there weren't many flaws in this show, is that, <coughs> sorry about the coughing, is that you, uh, it's a problem I have with a lot of independent promotions, is they go match, 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 and if Chikara didn't do this, they went match, promo, match, but sometimes they went match, match, because they just didn't cut a promo before it, and, uh, and whatever, but I think what they should have done later in the night, when it came to finals, and things like that in semi-finals, they should have put a compilation, you know, short video together of how each team won the match or whatever, just to hype the next match up and to keep it fresh in the mind because it it is a nine-hour event really over three nights, so people will forget. Um, or, or something that was an incredible match will s or seemed really cool at the time, you know, it sort of becomes distant. Oh, I also like to add up my, I'm wearing my new Brian Danielson shirt. Still the best. Um, even though I'm more of a Nigel fan, but I didn't get a Nigel shirt. I also got Chris Hero shirts, Necro Butcher shirt, and um, just a standard ROH shirt. But it's car shirts on its way after this quality event. Um, 
so yeah, I think they could have put some videos in there. Now I'll just go th run through some of the shows. I, as I said, nah, I don't know if I said it actually. Um, I won't do match ratings. I'll, I'll do them, but I'll put them in the side. I'm not going to talk about them here because I don't want to give away any things. Um, uh, some of the highlights were uh, whew, the night one. And let's uh, the Sea Amigos versus the. The Order of the Neo Solar Temple was very... It wasn't the best match. It was probably the worst match, but it was extremely funny and and short and, and fun. Um, one of the best matches was actually Mike Quackenbush, Shane Storm, and uh, uh, Skyade Rivera. I'm not pronouncing that right, and I know it. Versus Team e Egypt, which was Mecha Mummy, um... Ethereum and Amasis, which was a very good match, as well as it had some good comedy in there, as a lot of Kachara matches do, um, because they are a family oriented promotion, but they still appeal to smart fans, um, because of the good wrestling. Um, uh, Lost Cheevers vs. The Colony was also a very fun match. Um, actually, anything Lost Cheevers is in is pretty fun. Uh, also, The Colony were very good. Um, this night. <coughs> anyway, night two. Um, the Soul Touches is a team to watch. I, I really hadn't, wasn't familiar with the Soul Touches before this event, and they just got so over in one night, one single night. They went from being unknown to being mega over. It, it was they they were just that not. They were good in the ring. They were charismatic. Had a good gimmick, a good name, a good entrance song. Everything worked so well. They just got over so quickly. It's it's amazing. Um, I think they could get over anywhere if they f fucking wanted to. Um, also, Fist was a very good uh, team in this event, uh, which is Karis, Grand Akuma, and Chuck Taylor. They're always very good. Um, we saw a lot of entertaining stuff from uh, The Fabulous Three, which is Mitch Ryder, Larry Sweeney, and Shane Hawke. I'm a bit disappointed Robbie Ellis is gone, but, you know, this happens. Uh, but the best match of the night was Team IWS, which is, uh, um, El Generico playing Uno and Stupefied, uh, versus Team Mexico, which was, um, Um, El Pantera, Lince Dorado, and Incognito, who was the original Mystico. They made a big point of that because of Mystico's popularity, which is what they should have done. Uh, they, they, that match was just, I think, maybe as good as anything I've seen this year. It, it was just fun, but just really good. Uh, we also see saw Team WWE, which, which was Demolition Axe, Demolition Smash, and the One Man Gang. And uh, while they didn't put on the best performance, wrestling-wise, they were very entertaining, and they were obviously very uh, good with the fans. Uh, the fans didn't care that they couldn't wrestle, um, but you know because they were they made up for it in, in enthusiasm and stuff. Uh, at night three, the, the basically everything was really good, and and um, but there, there were a lot of short matches like tag, tag team gauntlets and things like that. Uh, but the finals was extremely well done. The, that, that had they they were leading up to a story in the main of uh, throughout the tournament, and they also had a story confined to the match. And both of them worked extremely well. Come the conclusion, they they were both. Um, it all came sort of full circle. It it, it was a good conclusion to to the event. Uh, it worked very well. Um, how old cross eyed in my videos? Uh, Overall, I'd give the three nights an an eight point seven five. Uh, I think this is essential, an essential DVD, three essential DVDs you need to pick up from Smart Mark Video because this these events were just all three nights were just so fucking good. Um, I, I don't know how you could be disappointed with that. Uh, some people don't like Jakara for some strange reason, but this was just really really good. Um, so yeah, overall. You, you just pick this up, and if you want to see that, the star ratings, remember they're in the side, but don't say I didn't warn you about spoiling it for yourself if you are going to order it. Anyway, you got my show rating, so that, that should be good enough. Anyway, thanks, I'm out.